So it's well established that red light has amazing benefits on our health. But what about blue light? Is blue light therapy beneficial to our body? What exact wavelengths are beneficial? Or is it dangerous and to be avoided, like some people say? I'm gonna have a good look at the science and reveal all. Oh, and by the way, be sure to stick around because at the end, I'll be doing a comparison between blue light therapy and red light therapy. Okay, so what exactly is blue light therapy? Well, it's a form of photobiomodulation whereby specific wavelengths of blue light are used to stimulate beneficial physiological responses in our bodies. Pretty much the blue light impacts our body in a way that creates a change, a benefit, a good outcome. Blue light, of course, is part of the visible light spectrum and the wavelengths of blue light are measured from about 400 nanometers up to about 500 nanometers. I say about as everyone uses different ranges here. Now, before I continue, if you do want to take a really deep dive into the world of blue light therapy, I have an extensive article over at alexfix.com. I'll put a link to that below. You can go over there and check out all of the studies I'm referring to in this video. Plus, we go into a lot more topics than I can cram into this short video. So again, the link is below. Go check that out if you want to take a deeper dive. Okay, so what are the applications of blue light therapy? Well, there are quite a few. So let's go through them one by one. First up, we have acne. Blue light therapy, particularly blue light in the 400 15 nanometer range has been shown to be quite effective for acne treatment the light targets acne causing bacteria reducing inflammation and preventing the formation of acne lesions it has been shown to be quite safe but most importantly it is rather effective some people have seen benefits after only a handful of treatments What's interesting here is red light in the 630 to 660 nanometer range has also been shown to be quite effective for acne as well. So combining the two here could be a win. Blue light is also beneficial for seasonal affective disorder and depression. Here the research shows that light around the 450 nanometer range helps to reset our body's internal clock and also boosts serotonin production. Really though, the blue light is just mimicking the effect of the natural sunlight. Seasonal affective disorder or SAD is most common in people who are living close to the poles. Come winter time, there's not as much sunlight, the days are colder, the weather's horrible, so you stay inside a lot more as well. Now you can actually purchase dedicated SAD devices, and you can run these for say 20 minutes during the day to help overcome the winter blues. Following up on this point, blue light can also help with sleep disorders. You see a broken or misaligned circadian rhythm can have a massive impact on your sleep and overall well-being. You may be affected by this if you feel absolutely exhausted during the day and you're just longing for bed. And then when you finally get to bed in the evening, you're so wide and alert, you can't sleep. A decent amount of exposure to blue light during the day can actually help with alertness and cognitive performance, but even better, it'll help reestablish the body's natural hormonal cycles, giving you a nice boost of cortisol to get through the day and in turn releasing melatonin at night when it gets dark. Next up, we look at the antimicrobial benefits of blue light therapy. Here, the benefits come from a higher energy wavelength of blue light, and that's around the 400, 405 nanometer light. We're getting closer to the invisible UV side of the light spectrum here. And as I'll talk about later in this video, there are actually some downsides with this high energy light. Hey, if you appreciate all the work I've done to put out content like this, you can thank me by hitting the like button and subscribe button below. I really do appreciate it. So yeah, blue light around that 405 nanometer wavelength has demonstrated antimicrobial properties against various pathogens. So it could be quite useful as a sterilization method or for treating antibiotic resistant pathogens. Plus there's also research for showing that this wavelength is quite useful for killing off unwanted pathogens in the mouth. So we often see it in dental products. Okay, so those are the big benefits when it comes to blue light therapy, but there are some lesser known benefits and also some benefits that still have some question marks over them when it comes to the research. Okay, so let's run through them real quick. First up, we have psoriasis, eczema, and we also have teeth whitening. So you may have seen these products where you put it in your mouth and the little LEDs glow and it's meant to help with oral health and also teeth whitening. Yeah, well, research does show that it is quite effective. In particular, they're using a wavelength around that 460, 470 nanometer mark. And actually, it's something I'd like to experiment with. So I'm going to go out and get one of these devices, turn these fancy lights on, run it for a few weeks or a month, and uh, report my findings. So be sure to hit the subscribe button to learn more about that. Okay, so we've looked at the benefits. What about the downsides? And are those people that say, no, oh my God, blue light is the worst thing ever. Do they have a point? Let's talk about it. So first up, the big one is exposure to blue light, in particular, a lot of blue light, at the wrong time of the day. So many years ago when I was big into the biohacking space, I actually went quite big into blue light and the impact it has on circadian rhythms. And uh, yeah, when I used to help people with their sleep health and sleep hygiene, 
removing artificial light in particular blue light in the evenings was one of the first things i did this is because blue light exposure in the evenings is literally going to have an impact on your body's circadian rhythm as we talked about earlier effectively the body is getting a signal that hey there's blue light out that must mean the sun's out that must mean it's daytime that must mean be alert be active and perform daytime activities of course if it's 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock at night you don't really want to be in this state so using a blue light device like the devices we've just mentioned right before bed is not a good idea however it is easy to mitigate you can get special glasses such as the swanies glasses with the orange lenses and these block the blue light rays from hitting the eyes and in turn you can have your cake and eat it too so to speak another issue is the higher energy blue light again this is your blue light around the 400 410 nanometer range this can lead to eye problems if the intensity is too high or the exposure time is too long so if you are using blue light with the low 400 nanometer wavelength make sure you're using eye protection or just be wise how you're using it okay so what's better blue light or red light well they both provide different benefits Blue light is better than red light for acne and sterilization, for instance. However, red light is going to be better for inflammation, mitochondrial performance, and overall health. And I should note that blue light has a lot more downsides and risks involved as well. Ideally, though, if you're after optimal health and performance, you'd use both. You'd tap into both worlds. However, if I could only use one, I'd go with the red light. The benefits are just so much more pronounced. But really, try not to overcomplicate matters. Remember, if you go outside in the sun, your body's been exposed to all of these wavelengths and in all honesty if you can get outside every day for a decent chunk of time you probably don't need to worry about any blue light devices unless of course you have a particular issue where blue light can help okay if you do want to tap into the benefits of blue light therapy and you're looking for a device that has the right wavelengths for you where should you start well i'm gonna write off four options here first up we have the platinum led biomax panels now this is actually a red and there for a device however the latest generation has incorporated some blue leds in it the blue leds are around that 460 to 480 nanometer range so it's not going to be the best panel for acne it's going to be more suited to surface level skin health and of course the red light and the near infrared wavelengths in there are going to help with that as well if acne is a problem check out the huga health blue light therapy device this is super inexpensive. It is a handheld device that is using 415 nanometer blue lights. So that's gonna be exactly what you want for acne. Like I said, it's super cheap and plus discount code AlexALEX will save you 5% on their products. Likewise with the Biomax product that I mentioned earlier. Now, if you're looking for a bit of blue light for acne control, but you also want some of the red and near infrared benefits, but don't wanna spend big money on a panel, check out the Huga Health 4-in-1 device. This device uses blue, red, amber, and near infrared all in one simple to use handheld device. Oh, and I'll be sure to put links to all of these products below. Finally, if you do have a bigger budget and you want the benefits of red and near infrared, but you also want to address some acne issues, then check out the Dumaflex light therapy device. This is a device specifically targeted for the face. It is rather expensive and it's something that I want to get my hands on and experiment with. So again, be sure to subscribe to learn more about that. But the science is pretty solid behind all these wavelengths, so I'm sure it is going to be quite effective. Alternatively, if skin health is your main concern, be sure to check out this video. In this video, I'll look at the eight different wavelengths that are most beneficial for optimal skin health. Otherwise, leave any questions below, and I'll see you on the next video.